Hey guys, I just, I'm posting this to get a public consensus over what they feel about certain websites like this one here that I sometimes browse just to figure out market value but at the same time I never really buy anything off .med. When I really need something I generally go to like eBay or I consult you guys, the community, and I try and get it from the community. .med has become a huge waste of time. And the reason it's a big waste of time is if you look, first you gotta get past the ads. You get past the ads, then we get down. I'm looking for an AMX4, or a couple of them, for a customer. And as you're browsing, they don't have any info on the device. Like, give me a price. Oh, there's a price on one. This isn't a pretty good average. Like, there's two prices, there's three. So I got three prices out of eight. Now this is this is a disturbing trend with .med is more and more items don't have a price. I think that if it doesn't have a price it shouldn't be posted. This it's absolute garbage that you have to contact somebody and then when you contact them come to find out they're at or above market price anyway. So of course I'm not looking for that unit. I'm looking for a good deal because I'm looking for a good deal for my customer. At least this one right here I can see is $11,900. These other ones, I have no clue. Why don't people post prices? Come on, .med. And what even makes it even worse is when you go into some of these assets, you'll see that on the auctions area, I was just here in the auctions because I thought, you know, some there's, there's some good deals on some of these auctions. So when I'm looking through, I see some of the items are listed at or above market value. And I was like, what are you guys doing? Let's see, let me let me show you uh, some perfect examples. Some of them are good deals, like this uh, GE 250 series monitor at 750 bucks. That's starting bid, by the way. This is almost market value for that GE monitor. <laughs> it's, you're not gonna get too much more than that. Um, let's see, what were some of the items? Right here, Medtronic 5392, starting bid $2,000. Nah, not gonna happen. Um, so when you get down to some of these other items, I know a lot of them are sitting at $10. And I was like, there's no way, no way, really 10 bucks? Because I was starting to think like this Drucker centrifuge right here, 10 bucks. And this is not very far away from where I live. You know, some of these centrifuges seem like really good deals. Uh, right here, MedRad injection system, 10 bucks. And I thought, there's no way they're selling these at that price. And then I went into one of the items and it says this item will not be sold if the reserve price is not met. Come on, dot med. What's the reserve price? I don't even know. It says it's posted for 10 bucks. Here we are. Why don't they start at the reserve price? This is so stupid. Why even waste people's time? So dot med, it's become one of those resources I just can't rely on. And I'm just putting this out there see what you guys think because what could have been an awesome site that could have helped us all out it's just a waste of everybody's time thanks for watching guys